and welcome to the Smith and Jones book. Yeah, indeed, we've got some marvellous, marvellous stuff for you tonight. Many of the featured sketches here go way back to the early 80s, mm. and of course, some of you watching probably weren't even born then. Well, Ant and Deck weren't even born then. <laughs> Deck was an ant. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like you to come back with us now to the early 80s when broadcasting was a completely different world. Yeah. A bloke called Terry Wogan was on the radio. <laughs> A comedian called Bruce Forsyth was on every Saturday night. <laughs> and someone called Michael Parkinson <laughs> was king of the chat shows. Oh, God. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? Impossible. <laughs> when you're ready, Mr Jones. Laughing away at a nun being shot. It's terrible, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> now, actually, now, in, in truth, we made our first series in, I think, it was 1983. It right? was 1984, in fact, yeah. uh, the year when George Orwell said that uh, Big Brother would be ruling Britain. That's right, he was only wrong by about 20 years, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes, modern television has completely changed. Because, so, to be honest, the worst thing, I think, nowadays mm. is the repeats. It's shocking, yes. <laughs> Not just repeats, but yeah. the cynical way they try to get them past you, you know, another yeah. chance to see yeah, and all that Classic stuff. television, you know, as we make a <laughs> welcome dreadful. revisit yes, to. Yes. Mm. Repackaging. Yeah, repackaging. You know, yeah, comedy like the, connection. Like the black like two Ronnie sketchbooks. Yeah, I saw that, yes. <laughs> Let's see some more stuff, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, I'll give you the tell by the window today, if that's all right. Okay, by you, George. That's fine, I love it, yeah. Well, you go. Did you have a look at the portfolio? I did. I had a look at the portfolio <laughs> and well, I'm obviously very interested. <laughs> it's going to be a very, very interesting new departure for us, I think. So, what, I mean, do you think we're going to find the money any trouble? Or... I don't think that the finance is any problem in itself. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just a little bit... Would you like to see the menu, sir? Uh, no, I think Chef knows our order, Henry. Sorry, thank you. Wineless, sir? Uh, yes. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, and an area... Really? That is, that is actually riskier than some of the things we've been involved in in the past. <laughs> ah, soup. Mm. You see, I mean, what do you, I mean, what do you make of this whole <laughs> throwing their business over to New York? I, think, I mean, let's face it. 
face of one of them. Oh, 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 for one reason or another. Ah, <laughs> uh, that looks lovely. Thank you. some sort of interest ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody, did anybody here, other than me, spot that very odd expression on Chris' face? <laughs> Why are we doing that uh, I, My character was being sort of childish, no, you know. No, 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 no. I no, think we could no. all clearly see what was going on mm. there, Griff. You were, in fact, breaking, I think, one of the cardinal rules of comedy, which is, you know, basically, I think that you actually were finding something rather amusing there. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I can always say, I, you know, I work with you for, for 15 years, I think, together, and I just want to honestly say I never, never found anything you did in the slightest bit funny <laughs> in, in any way. Fair enough. Well, no, wait a minute, wait. Generally, professional discipline, I think, kept under control. Yes. But on, on this occasion, I, I must admit that I, I did find the sight of you throwing all that food about. Very, very funny. Uh, no, yeah, well, fair enough. Because that was your own suit, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> ruined! Ruined it was! <laughs> I hope so. Just looking, thank you. <laughs> Haven't you put the cat flap in the new door yet? I thought that was a great performance there. Thank you very much. No, I wasn't thinking of you, I was thinking of the coffee pot. <laughs> it was a fantastic performance by a coffee pot. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, just amazing. Actually, while we were making the programme, we had a terrific support from all the prop makers. In order to make that prop, in fact, yeah. you see, they built the whole of the kitchen tabletop and then the actual thing disappeared into the kitchen tabletop, you see. That's what yeah, made it so clever, but they were terrific. Sure. They could do... Remember the bomb in the loo? I think we saw that earlier on with the fake poo, which went Fantastic. everywhere. That was terrific. Yeah. I, cars falling from the sky, gigantic condom hats, <laughs> poodle kites. Nice we had it. Yeah, it was like spending a weekend with Elton John, wasn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> but in the end, I, I can't help noticing that there was one particular prop that probably did more service for the series than any other, and that was the humble pair of glasses. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Swiss News. Let's go over first to Martin at the clock desk. Thank you, Peter. More excitement in the clock world tonight with news <laughs> of an amazing new development in Swiss clock design. This is a day hint which can be added to conventional clocks and goes round once a day. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Unemployment news. A spokesman for the opposition party today called the latest unemployment figures disgraceful. 
when it was revealed that there are now 15 people out of work in this country. <laughs> he added that if things go on this way, soon there will be 16 people out of work. <laughs> now over to Martin at the chocolate desk. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. A man in Bern was sick today when he ate too much chocolate. <laughs> He later commented, I have no regret. Swiss chocolate is amongst the finest in the world. <laughs> That's so very true, Martin. <laughs> After the break, the Swiss army will be unveiling a new blade for their knife. <laughs> and Martin will have exciting news from the cheese desk. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. <laughs> We've been friends now. Cool, dear, oh dear, oh cool. <laughs> Long time, I should think, yeah. yeah. Of course, we, I mean, we've had our ups and downs, yeah. obviously. I mean, there was that time when we weren't talking, you know. Yeah, the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> but the point about you is, you mm. see, if you thought there was something I ought to know, mm. you'd tell me, wouldn't you? Oh. Even, I mean, even if it hurt. I'm down, especially if it hurt. In fact, I'll probably be there. <laughs> <laughs> when I started going out with mm. Dolores, mm. right, you were the only one, mm. you were the only one mm. who said that mm. it, it, this is not right. Mm. That's right. Well, mind you, she was my wife, wasn't she? So <laughs> I've, always, I've, 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 mm. I've always known that you would be you'd be honest with me. You'd never mm. you'd never avoid telling me something I ought to know, would you? No, I wouldn't know. No. Mm. I'm worried that I'm no longer attractive to women. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is your garage roof still need to <laughs> Obviously, I can't afford a lot of the luxuries that people take for granted. Um, nice house, uh, car, nice clothes, food. But then, I didn't become a teacher for the money anyway. <laughs> I had a bit of a traumatic evening recently, see? So. What, what happened? Well, I went down scamps, you know, the nightclub I was oh, down yeah. in. I had me, uh, I had me flared white jeans on, you know, and me, <laughs> the old pink shirt open to the waist. I was smoking me curly pipe. I looked great. Not bad, yeah. Anyway, it wasn't, uh, wasn't long before I was chatting up, you know, young, young bird there, you know, my usual patter. Yeah. Well, how much? No, 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 I was talking about, talking about art, oh, music, oh, yeah. music, and Krista Berg and stuff oh, like that. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. suddenly she turns around to me yeah. and she says, "Piss off, Granddad." <laughs> Fancy that, eh? Yeah, oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Fancy meeting your granddaughter down scamps. <laughs> no, 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 she wasn't really my granddaughter. No, she was being deliberately offensive, is what she was being. Oh, what, what, what she was saying was that I was, I was too old to be there. <laughs> old. Old. I mean, old. I was, I was furious, I was furious. Yeah. I smashed down my sherry and I walked straight out. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look, I mean, can you see any grey hairs up there? <laughs> I can honestly tell you, I can't. I can't. No. Say <laughs> and, and you, you would yeah. tell me, wouldn't yeah. you? You would mm. tell me if, mm. if, if I looked past it, mm. wouldn't you? Have you tried bitumen in the cracks? Because that's quite good. You can put it <laughs> into the cracks. In the <laughs> Do you know, sometimes there's a funny thing. I, I sometimes meet people who thought that we did those mm. sitting at opposite ends of the studio. They actually thought it would be easier to do that way rather than, you know, sort of that yeah. close to each other. So I think there's something to do with the way that, that all through the show they used to take different shots and they bring them together as a sort of computer effect. It's just such a stupid idea. Yeah. <laughs> Although I always thought that it would be easier if we did do it that way, strangely enough. Yes, I know you did, and you were wrong. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean, especially when you were on that Atkins diet. It was diet. a stupid idea. You could knock a horse over with your breath. That's a stupid <laughs> idea that we should do it at opposite ends of the studio. <laughs> Did you get the light switched on there, Fraser? Hey, all passing ships will be safe in these waters tonight. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, uh, sit you down and I'll bring you your tea. Thank you, Dougal. Milk and two sugars, if you please. Aye, I know, I know. Sorry, I was, I was just saying, you know. Aye, uh, well, I've worked with you in this lighthouse for, what, uh, 12 years now. I think I can <laughs> remember how you take your tea. Aye, oh, well, sorry, Dougal. Eh, my God. I'm looking forward to this, mate. <laughs> Do you 
you have to do that? Do what? Do you have to bang your spoon like that? I had no notice. Why can you not put it in the saucer? <laughs> or leave it on the table? Or stick it up your hooter for <laughs> I'm very, very oh, sorry, no, Dougal. No, if no, I'm... no, 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 Fraser, no offence. But you're in danger if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Becoming a wee bit predictable. Oh, am I? Hey. <laughs> For example, every time you come down from setting the light, you always say, all oh, passing ships will be safe in these waters tonight. <laughs> well, what about you, then? What about me? Who always whistles EastEnders when he's making the tea? <laughs> well, it's nae me. I bet you were whistling it tonight while I was doing the light. I was nae. Eh, hey, you always scratch your chin when you're fibbing. I do not. You do? You do it again? What? Well, I have a wee facial oh, irritation. That's what I'm saying. Shut have. up, Dougal, and have a biscuit, will you? Don't do that! <laughs> Bloody war! Don't open the biscuits from the middle hole. <laughs> but I always do that! I I've noticed! <laughs> and it always makes crumbs! Oh, well, pardonne moi! And if there's one thing I can stand, it's, it's unnecessary, un miss! <laughs> Don't you start pretending you know exactly what I'm gonna do and say all the time. But I do, I do, I know exactly. What you're gonna do and say all the time? Oh, hey, well, I know exactly what you're gonna do and say all the time. Oh, really? Hey, like I knew you're gonna say, oh, really? Then. Right, right, right. Let's uh, let's write do on a piece of paper exactly what we think the other's gonna say next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I knew you were gonna suggest that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go on then, show me yours first. <laughs> right, that's it. Right, now you'll go to the knife drawer. You'll open the drawer, you'll pull out the biggest bread knife you can find, and you'll shout, God damn your eyes, Fraser Mabafagin! And then you'll run over here shouting, If, if you, you don't, don't shut your, your gob, gob, Fraser, I'll give you a god is my witness. witness! And then you'll run me through with the bread knife! <laughs> <laughs> You don't. <laughs> I am do. You bastard. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, what a you know, what a mm. masterpiece of underplaying that was. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sketch called uh, the Predictable Lighthouse. Keeper. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's written on the autocue, isn't it? Yeah, Not much. Yeah. So, uh, where part of Scotland? Where are you from? Where there? did I come from? Yes. I came from uh, Billy Connollyshire. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Stanley Baxtershire. Uh, yeah. 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 Can I just say, I, I do, I do. Mm. Um, can I just yeah. say? Yeah. That I'm sure you can have a go. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> What's really confusing mm. is looking at you over 15 years, because you get, you get fatter, then thinner, then greyer. And at some point, you, you have your hair cut like my Uncle Ted. You look about 90. <laughs> Thank you. But what I do find funny, Mel, actually, watching this, is bizarrely, mm. Mel Smith mm. doesn't appear to age at all. <laughs> He doesn't change his appearance in a way. He must have a picture stuck in the attic somewhere. The picture of Dorian Smith. You never seem to get any older. I'll take that as a compliment. No, well, you're just as decrepit and wasted now as you were when I started. <laughs> that is born of a woman has but a short time to live. <laughs> <laughs> he fleeth, as it were, a shadow, and never continueth in one step. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
for as much as it hath pleased Almighty God, <laughs> taken to himself the soul of this child. Yeah. Earth to earth. Cockies. Ashes to ashes. Wise God, the honor, the glory, ever and ever. Is there something wrong with your teeth? Mm -hmm. What's the problem then? These aren't my teeth. A lot of writers cut their teeth on Smith and Jones. That sketch was co-written by Paul Martin. The Paul Martin? Mm -hmm. He later changed his name to Paul Merton. Who's he? We had uh, <laughs> Clive Anderson, Rory McGrath, David Baddiel, Hugh Grant Hugh, wrote for us. Hugh Grant? Hugh Grant, Hugh Hugh Grant wrote for us. Actually, anybody, yeah. anybody, yeah. anybody ever told you, um, in fact, that you look a little bit like um, Hugh Grant's extremely ugly older brother? <laughs> well, not in so many words, no. No, I'm... but if he ever wants an older... Fatter, uglier yeah. brother, you know. Um, well, he could send for you. you yes, know? Four weddings and my ugly older brother. Actually. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Mm. Well, what a pity Orson Welles is dead. <laughs> it's just a, like I'm. I'm going to get married again. You know. <laughs> what is that? What? Why is that then? Because I'm. Because I'm lonely, mate. Oh, I'm lonely. No, right? well, you're not I, lonely, are you? Yeah, I am. I'm lonely. I think I need a boon companion, you yeah. know, a, a brick in my wall. I oh, see. A rock to my lighthouse. That's right. Somebody, yeah. somebody who I can share the joys and tribulations and mm. as we go along life's long highway. Yeah. But, but I mean, where, where would you ever find a, a wife like that? Well, you can buy them in the Philippines, apparently. <laughs> Well, um, um, where did you find out about well, this then? I saw an advert. Did you? Yeah. Where? In the exchange of Mark. Yeah. <laughs> In about just, you know, just after the uh, exotic pets and domestic goods section. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but do you think this is wise? I mean, it sounds a bit like sort of like the old s slavery. I mean, no, something like no, that. See, it? What so you've got to yeah, understand yeah, is yeah. that over there in the Philippines, they have a terrible life. Today, a terrible life of poverty and squalor, and like yeah. absolutely lousy sort of nutrition and health care oh. and housing. Right. So, like, she'll be at home in Peckham then. Well, yeah. <laughs> look, look. Yeah. A woman would come over here and marry anybody who would put a decent roof over her head. Oh, right. But you're not going to get your roof fixed, are you? Well, I'm thinking about <laughs> it. Well, is that serious? Yes. I mean, do you, I mean, do, you, do, you, do you think you'll be able to find Miss Wright, then? Miss Wong, actually. <laughs> Tell me, what, what have happened to Miss Wong, then? Well, we had a blissful six months. Mm. Blissful. Mm. I'd come home from work, you know, my dinner would be warming on the fire, my pipe would be in the oven, 
and my slippers are down there stuffed full of tobacco. So you never quite conquered the language difference? Not really. No. <laughs> Did she look anything like her picture, though? Well, ah, uh, now, you say she. <laughs> yes, I do. I do say she. she. Well, she turned out to be one of those lady boys. <laughs> That's quite lucky. <laughs> hey. Those little beetles, they're quite lucky, aren't they? They're lady... The <laughs> lady birds? <laughs> A lady boy, a lady oh. boy, one of the boys who dresses up in dresses and puts on makeup and behaves like a woman, you know. Oh, right. Uh, Did it not work out then? Well, we <laughs> we tried to make a go of it, right. but, you know, it just wasn't for me, you know. No. It, I, just, I just couldn't. Uh... It didn't fit. No. I mean, it didn't. no. <laughs> I mean, it didn't, it didn't gel. I mean, <clears throat> you know, well, I mean, it didn't really work out for you. We didn't see eye to eye. No, 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 no. I don't understand, yeah. <laughs> So eventually she uh, she went back to where she came from. Where was that? The Philippines. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. But in our brief time together, I uh, mm. well, she gave me a lot of happiness. You know, she yeah, did. Yeah. She did, and I'd like to think that I gave her a little something too. Yeah, I expect she can get that treated in the Philippines. Can't <laughs> That's it for tonight. Next week, Mel Smith. The wilderness years. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You know, say, yeah. I think you know, people watching those shows, I don't think they realised how hard we actually worked, you know. Mm. Well, that was lucky anyway. Yeah, well, <laughs> thanks for coming. Thank Good you night. Very much. Good night. <laughs>